guys, Lou Maxon here, going over the last bits of my gear. Bandana um, is a multi-purpose item. I can make char cloth out of it if I cut it up. It's a head covering because I'm mostly bald. Uh, it'll suck up small amounts of water. It, it's a dressing if it's clean. A bandana is probably the most number one piece of equipment anybody should carry. Followed up by number two, this is a card with about six, maybe four to six feet of duct tape. If you got a bandana and you've got duct tape, you're good to go. You don't, this is my first aid kit. Duct tape and a bandana. Chapstick. Self-explanatory. I, I do go camping in the desert, and it's real easy to get hurt. Chap flips, painful, must have in my opinion. The last two items are on my on my table here are for fire starting, obviously. A ferrocene rod type fire starter and a big lighter. Cheap, simple, easy, big lighter can never have too many of them. I have one in my cooking kit. You know, once you understand the rule of three, I'll go into that in a minute. We'll move this out of the side. Once you understand the rule of three, what is the rule of three? Rule of three is three minutes without oxygen, three hours of exposure, three days without water, and three weeks without food. food. Once you understand the rule of three and grasp it and live by it, because if you don't, you're going to be in serious, serious trouble, all of your equipment will make sense. In the desert, exposure, that will kill you faster than everything else. So you need to be able to get out of the sun, out of the heat. Um, my poncho and poncho liner do that. Next up, really in our world, after you've come up with exposure, is um, three days without water. I carry my 40 ounce bottle, my 40 ounce clean bottle, that's full of water. My three liter, or my 100 liter, not liter, 100 milliliter camel pack, the big camel pack, that's completely full of water when I go out in the desert that covers the exposure and that covers the water for a period of time. That's why I have the shovel so I can continue to find water. Followed that up lastly by food. I carry three MREs because they're not dehydrated and then I don't have to take more water away from drinking to make and process my food. So really the rule of three and it's kind of weird, the rule of three. You can, if things are, if you follow the rule of three, three minutes without oxygen, three hours of exposure, three days without water, three weeks without food, you're gonna be in a lot of hurt and you might be dead. You will, de if they find you or you get found, you will definitely need medical attention. The rule, it should be the rule of four, because at four minutes without air, you're not, you're dead. Four hours of exposure, whether it's freezing water off the coast of Alaska, where I'm from, or boiling sun in the Mojave Desert just down the road from me, four days without water and you're not coming back, four weeks without food and you've starved to death. That it really should be the rule of four but we call it the rule of three. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your energy. I appreciate it. Again, my name is Lou Maxson. Good evening.